foot off. 2013. Welcome to the Pulse Motor Build-Off 2013, the coil you see right there. I uh, didn't even use that in the final portion of this, but I originally designed it for something else. So there's the coil. It consists of a whole bunch of magnet wire that's recycled and a 3D printed torus problem that uh, Fire Pinto actually designed using my resources. Uh, there's the circuit laid out all together. Now I created an air bearing for this out of random parts. And uh, the circuit here is a fan circuit come out of a fan. I up the transistors to something a little more beefy. There's the hall sensor for it. And I'm using an air supply to actually float the magnet across uh, well, in the air. So let's check out this stuff. All right, a one-inch Neo Sphere magnet spinning at 60,000 RPM. That's got to be some serious velocity on the outside of that thing. Yay! I broke my record! Check that out. That's ridiculous. Over one half a million RPM. Alright. We're going to see how fast this starts up. The flying power now. Yeah! 500,000 RPM in what? 15 seconds? Hey, that ain't bad. Well, that's it. It's all the time I got. Three minutes. But, eh, I can't win anyway. So I'm going to show you two little funny clips. Dude, check it out. I was exactly right. There it is. <laughs> I think it was going like 70, 80, 100,000 RPM when it went around that and flew over there and hit my car. Dude. Cool pulse motor build off story. Alright, continuing on. Alright, so the magnet actually was bouncing around the shop for, I don't know, 10 seconds and then it got a hold of the popper. And since it's a giant chunk of round steel, it's, it flew around there. I just heard it go zink, zink. And I found it on the side of my car because I heard it hit it. Look how red hot that is. Oh man. Oh man. My circuit. Oh no. Oh man. Oh, come on. Really? You think I should unplug the power now? Oh man, look how hot that got. Oh man, I'm gonna have to replace some parts now. 
All right, I guess I'll unhook it now. Ah oh, man, pulse motor build off, 2013. I'd say those are shot. Oh ho ho! I'm gonna have to replace that. Man. Oh well. Time to continue on. That was awesome. Well. I've never seen electronic components such as that get that hot. Usually they just pop and quit working, but these just kept going until they were glowing red hot. And then the whole entire black plastic, whatever it's made out of, turned solid white all the way through. That's not just on the outside. That was fascinating. All right, I want to say thanks to everyone, and I appreciate everyone entering. Hope you had a lot of fun. Looking forward to next year.